viewers, welcome to the new Match video. This is a video installing Windows Vista on basic, basic, uh, on the Asus Pyre 3000 laptop. I'm first going to the BIOS because I am going to install it from my 4 gig USB flash drive. So I'm going to press F6, put it on top, there we go, sure, that's fine. And save the configuration and restart the computer. There we go, it's off. It turns on again, and hopefully we will boot into the Windows Vista setup. And there we go. Putting into setup. Let's see the little arrow. Hold on, someone is talking to me off Steam. For some reason, booting into the... Whoa, hold on, by the way, I'm watching a YouTube video here. Uh, that guy was so totally German. Right, here we are at the setup. English, United States. Can't change that, so that's fine. Gonna change that too much. Time and currency format. Of course, I'm going to change that, because I don't want dollars. I want fucking euros. Dutch, Netherlands. Install now. Please wait, like I haven't waited enough. There we go. Uh, let's see. No, I don't want to put in the key just now. I'll do that later. It's really slow for some reason. Right, there we go, we can choose our version. I can choose business, home basic, home bring, ultimate, basic, and business, and or Windows Vista starter. Windows Vista starter was very crappy. Couldn't do anything with it. I'm going to install home basic. Oh right, this is already with Search Pack 2 included. Sweet. Custom and file setup. Oh my god, it is painfully slow. Drive options. I'm going to format my drive. All my drivers are backed up on both my main computer and another USB drive. This USB drive is normally quite fast with about plus or minus uh, 9 megabytes write speed and about 20 megabytes read which is quite fast for a it's already an old, it's, it's quite old USB flash drive for a gig already I've had it for about two years now so right it's going to install and I'll be back when that all this shit is done welcome back so we're just after first reboot Shit. Failure. I wanted to boot off the USB flash drive again, and I don't want it to do that. Uh, damn. That was an epic fail right there. For some reason, this part of the thousand is showing some, well, some wear and tear over the years. It's really starting to show its edge. I mean, it has been used thoroughly from since it was, uh, let's say, born. Really starts to really the hard drive and the processor and all the stuff. It just appears that the uh, it might be dying. I don't think I will uh, be able to use this within a year, 
the next year, but well, in a year, I think it will be dead. Whatever. Just about ready to boot back into setup. There we go. It's completely ready to complete the installation, which would be very nice. There we go, it's continuing again, and again I'm completely new to video apparently. Right. I think it's just about to reboot for the second time. There we go. Didn't I tell you? At least my laptop is more compatible with newer operating systems than my Athlon 64 computer, which couldn't handle Windows Vista or 7. Well, the PCI slots didn't work in Vista or 7. They only worked in XP, so I couldn't install drivers or anything because they just wouldn't turn on. And there was no fix for it, so that was kind of shitty. Well, I'm excused for all my swearing in this video, but uh, whatever. Sometimes I just feel like it. Right, just put in my username and stuff. And now it's uh, preparing for the first boot up. I think it's first going to check performance. I don't know what the hell it's doing right now, so... There you go, checking performance, and then it's going to boot for the first time. And there we are, Windows Vista booted up. Windows Vista Home Basic. It even installed my video driver and optimized. Optimized, <coughs> sorry. All the settings. And set the correct resolution. Right, configured Windows Media Player. And the most crappy browser ever, Internet Exploder. Hmm. Odd. Oh, there we go. Thought I didn't have wireless driver, but apparently I do have that. Only no sound. Right. So I will install all the drivers and then, uh, install the OS X theme and I will show you how it looks. So here's the Acer Aspire 8000 again, as you can see. It's connected to the internet. I applied the OS X theme and uh, as you can see it looks pretty darn good. Here let me scroll through the dock here. No slowdowns whatsoever. Here, let me empty the recycle bin. Alright. As you can see there, we've got a finder bar. I can't delete that quick launch part. I guess uh, that'll be gone if I uh, reboot the computer, I guess. And get this friggin' light out of the way. We also have in the corner over there is a Mac clock which says the day and the time. And, uh, and of course, very important, we've got Left Sider, which is software that does not do what you expect it to do. Damn. Hold on here for a second. I'm having a bit of a fail on camera. I have to start the 
left side of here. So if all is well... Damn, filler. Normally left side I would put the minimize, maximize and close buttons on the left like in Mac OS 10. You can see this is all quite the same thing. And I had Safari, but it kinda disappeared. There we go. I added it to the uh, dock, but it disappeared, so just have to start it manually. What's the OS X clone without Safari? There we go. Apple Safari. Not your default browser, now it is. I don't want to use Internet Explorer. Right. So I basically turned this into a Mac, and it looks nice. Transparent taskbar, transparent menus, and there we are. This though is 10, 1.0 system rating, AMD Trion 64 mobile technology ML34, 1.8 gigahertz, and 990 megabytes of RAM, 32-bit operating system. This is Vista Home Basic Source Pack 2, running on the Asus Power 3000. I thank you all for watching this quite long video, and. I hope to see you soon.